I know what this looks like, ladies, but keep your minds out of the gutter. Hello pineapples, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Erica. I make vlogs, health, and lifestyle videos. I would love for you to be a part of this pineapple family where we strive for progress not perfection, and we always try and do life the pineapple way. We stand tall, we wear a crown, and we are sweet on the inside. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell notification, and you will be notified every single time I come out with a new video, which is once a week. Anyway guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay guys, about a month ago, you saw me do an unboxing and a first impression video of my Doc Martens backpack. In that video, if you have not seen it, I will link it in the description box down below. I told you that about a month from now, I would do another what's in my bag and a review of the bag and how it's worn and how I like it in that month that I've carried it. Well. Crazily enough, that month has come, and I am so excited to do this video for you. I love what's in my bag videos. I love to make them, I love to watch them. So let's just get into the bag. So this is my bag, guys. It is a Doc Martens biker bag. Unfortunately, it is now sold out on their website. Um, but it is just this cool, very sleek, fun bag. Um, I'm going to save the review part for the latter half of the video, so definitely stick around for the end of this. Um, but I'm just gonna get straight into the bag, right? Because that's what we're all here for, the nitty gritty. Um, we will start with the small compartment first. It only has two compartments. It's got this large one and it's got the small one, so we'll get into this one first. Okay, and we'll just get into this puppy. Okay, so first what I'm seeing, guys, is this Power Play pouch. I actually got this at Barnes & Noble a couple years ago. It is an emergency electronics kit. It used to have like a wall plug and a charger and all these things. I have since kind of taken things out and really made it my own, so I'll just show you what's inside. This was with the original kit. It's a small charger. I hate that it's the short, but in and bind, it works. It has three different uh, chargers on it, which I think is really nice. It's got the old iPhone like phone charger. It's got the new or the latest iPhone charger and then it's got a micro USB for Android users. Um, so if your friend has an Android and you have an iPhone, you're in luck. So there's that. I have a long uh, regular iPhone cable. And then lastly, I have my Headphones, um, these are just connected by a binder clip. I got really sick of them nodding in my bag every single time I threw them in there, so I just felt it best to uh, put a clip on there so they don't get knotted, and then I just put them all in this little pouch. Next, guys, you've seen this before. It is my cat pouch. Within it, I carry just my little like bits and bobs in terms of hair stuff. I have bobby pins, uh, hair tie, and then I have a like little clip in here. Um, I used to throw these things at the bottom of my bag and it just became super annoying. So I decided that I would just pick up a pouch and I put everything in it in terms of just its organization. It has served me well. Next guys, I saw these the other day and they were so nostalgic I had to like pick them up. They're the Chupa Chup Suckers. Um, I'm a 90s baby and I just remember these so much when I was in elementary school. Just It brought back old memories so I decided I had to have it. Next, okay, so we have kind of a lot of these. Um, you'll see quite a few bags, but uh, I'm a coffee drinker at heart, but I'm really trying to get into tea. Um, I can't say I like tea more than I like coffee, but I have gained a very great appreciation for it, and I do try and drink it for the latter half of the day. But yeah, so I have quite a bit of tea bags. Next, guys, is um, this is a Vivid Matte. Where is the writing? Oh yeah, it's Vivid Matte by Maybelline. This is in the color Red Punch. Next, I've talked about this before, guys. It is my flint roller. I am a dog mom to a Siberian Husky and a German Shepherd mix, and between the two, I am almost always covered in hair. Now, don't get me wrong, I feel like dog hair adds flair, but every once in a while, it just becomes too much for even me. And I used to carry like regular rollers, and the problem was is you stick them in your bag or you stick them somewhere, and like the papers just like 
stick to everything. What I loved about this is that it's retractable. So I pull it out when I need it. Um, these sticky papers are something that you pop off when the roll is done. You just reorder different sticky papers. You stick it right in and this whole plastic part becomes a reusable base. I love it and then I retract it when I'm done. I think it's one of the most useful things I've ever purchased in my life. It's $10. So for all you fur mamas and dads out there, this is something that I just cannot speak highly enough of. It's fantastic. I will link it in the description box down below. I bought it off of Amazon again for like $10. Next guys, who do you thunk it? More tea with a sticky note on it. And it is a sticky note recommending a show from a friend on Prime. Uh, okay, we'll start with this. Um, I'm a legal assistant. I do a lot of proofing. Um, I do mostly like reading from the computer, but every once in a while I like to like print things out. And I just must have stuck the Sharpie in my purse even though I do that proofing at work, but I digress. Um, more writing stuff. I have my diamond pen because I'm bougie, JK, no I'm not. I have another pen because you should not be without a writing utensil. Okay, next. I know what this looks like, ladies, but keep your minds out of the gutter. This is a PG channel. Um, this is a really actually very cool thing. So you pop this off and it is a to-go perfume bottle. But here's the fun part. So on the bottom, there's this like little hole on the bottom. So what you do with this is you pop the cap or like the little spritz part of your perfume bottle, your larger one at home. You set this on top of it and you pump it. So that larger perfume bottle, you then get a um, travel edition because it pumps the perfume into this bottle and you have your perfume on the go. Okay, let's see. Uh, chapstick because I'm never without it, I think. Oh, we're almost done guys. Okay, the last thing in here is a key, which I'm pretty sure is to my garage. I don't know why it's off my key ring, but it is what it is. That ends the small compartment. Now, on to the larger one. All right guys, first what I'm seeing on top are my headphones. Um, I was gifted these for Christmas. These are Sony uh, Bluetooth um, soundproof headphones. Uh, next guys are my keys with my very fun um, Exorcist lanyard because I adore scary movies. Fun fact guys, watching scary movies is healthy for you because it gets your heart rate up. So screw cardio and just put a scary movie on. Next, okay, I am so excited to show you guys this. This is my new wallet. Also Doc Martens, who would have thought? So it is my Doc Martens little like zip wallet. It's a heart with this very fun like rose embroidery and then the heart is like the sequin material hopefully you can see that let me get a closer look there perfect so yes it's a sequin material with this really fun rose embroider and then the back is that same sequin material without the uh, embroidered uh, part of it there is like a metal zipper it's really nice hardware this whole thing is genuine leather and it's got this very nice um non-detachable wrist strap that just is super comfortable when you wear it uh sometimes when i don't feel like taking my whole bag into the store i just grab this and i go in um on the keychain these things did not come with it i have a frida kalo keychain and I have this very cool little chapstick holder. So I'm gonna open it up. It is pretty tiny, I will say, but it's fine for me. I've mentioned before I prefer tinier like little wallets. Inside, I just keep my card holder to just kind of keep them all in line. This is a really fun, nice accordion style card case. It is a Louis Vuitton Damier print dupe that I got off of Amazon for like $12, but unfortunately guys, Amazon no longer sells this. Okay, so also in here I have my Mary Kay Midnight Red Lipstick. It's the shade I'm wearing now. I love this. This is my all-time favorite red lipstick. So if you know somebody who sells Mary Kay, ask them to order this for you. It is the best thing ever. And lastly in this pouch, guys, I have earrings that I took off in the middle of the day so that is all that i carry in my wallet next guys i have my patricia nash uh, matte print pouch 
You guys saw this in my last what's in my bag. I'm still loving this pouch. I think it's just super convenient. First thing in it is secret deodorant. I had so many of you very nicely comment on uh, natural like alternatives to secret. I have every intention of trying those, but I just haven't gotten around to buying them. For now, I carry this just in case. Next. I actually had a lot of questions about this, so I will link it down below. Um, it looks like a like um, kind of like a tampon size, so you just open it up, though, guys, and it is a reusable straw that retracts, and then it becomes like multiple different sizes depending on your drink. Next is Excedrin, because you just never know. Next is uh, my little mermaid compact mirror it has a magnified side and a regular side i got it from hot topic ariel's my favorite disney princess okay next guys is my tide to go pen next guys in this pouch i'm just kind of like holding it um is my burt's bees coconut and pear chapstick next tweezers for the man hair that just refuses to go away next uh, this is fantastic. So this kind of looks like a larger tube of lipstick. It is not. It is a little fun tool called the Flawless. Um, it has like a fun light. And guys, it's for your mustache and that peach fuzz on the side of your face that just refuses to go away. Me and my fiance are currently though trying to figure out who can grow a fuller beard. So I haven't really been using this, but. Lastly in this Patricia Nash pouch is this uh, little pouch. Um, I got this from London. It carries uh, stones that give off certain energies. These are the stones. Um, some are for creativity, some are for positivity. They just all do something a little they all do something a little different for your energy and it reminds me a little bit of London and I always have it to remind me of a really great trip. So um, yeah, I always keep it with me. Next, I carry my cell phone, you know, cause screw smartphones, JK. Next guys is the current book I'm reading. Next, this is a Victoria's Secret pouch. Inside I carry all of like my body sprays and my hand lotions. So first thing, I have the Victoria's Secret Wicked Dreamer body spray. Um, I also really love these Victoria's Secret hand lotions. This is the Hyaluronic Hydrating Hand Cream in Rose Water. Um, this is my Boudreaux's Butt Paste. I've talked about this a million times. I'll continue to talk about it. It's the greatest product ever. Um, another Bath & Body Works. This is Snowflake and Cashmere. Um, hand sanitizer. Uh, it is pumpkin cheesecake. I can't say I'm in love with the smell, but considering what's all happening with the world, I just don't think it's a bad thing to carry. Uh, Clinique moisturizer. Next is Neutrogena Hydra Boost Sunscreen SPF 50. And then, ooh, lastly, lastly we have another Bath & Body Works. This is the Good Vibes Only Coconut Hand Cream. And that's it for this pouch. This is a really cool one, guys, because it's like, like, like lined with like a slick plastic material. So if one of those lotions were to somehow open um, and get out, this is just easy clean, like wash and kind of wipe down. Next, some paperwork. Um, I got my taxes done and I had to send some stuff in. Next is my Frida Kahlo notebook. I picked this up at Barnes and Noble recently. It is kind of like my brain dump notebook. It has video ideas, gym routines, journaling that's kind of a little bit of everything more paperwork next guys we have brookside dark chocolate vineyard inspired merlot bleh, merlot grape and black currant flavors these are delicious next guys we have receipts we have a target receipt no surprise there uh we have a walmart receipt um oh crap it came detached that same craft fair where I got my chapstick holder. They had a chiropractor booth. I actually got a screening and it showed some really red severe spots and they had like a new patient discount so I'm going to the chiropractor. I will keep you posted when I do go. Uh, okay we have a whoa <laughs> we have uh, my fiance's Prius key. We're coming to the end guys. A tea bag because it was displaced obviously from the small compartment. This is the last thing, Altoids cinnamon because I am a whore for cinnamon. I love cinnamon 
anything. There's never enough in my opinion. Uh, and so I found these. They're cinnamon, they're great, and who wants to have stank breath? Uh, said no one ever, exactly. So, yes, yes. Okay guys, that is all that I carry in my bag. Um, so I just wanted to go over a really quick review for you because I just feel like this bag needs it. Um, I don't find very many Doc Martin backpack reviews on YouTube. Let's just get into it really fast. When I first ordered it, I had a few reservations in terms of my first impressions. Uh, one was the length versus width problem. I prefer bags that are longer versus taller, and that was something that I just kind of looked past considering I just loved the look of the bag so much. So I ended up just going for it and I'm happy that I did. Um, this bag is so structured. The leather, I wouldn't say it's stiff, it just holds its form. So when you kind of have all of your things in pouches kind of like how I do, it just works really well and everything's organized and easy to find and I don't find myself rummaging through the bag. Um, another reservation I had was the small compartment is uh, shut via the buckle system. It's not magnetic, you actually have to physically buckle it. Um, I purposely keep things in here that I don't reach for all the time. Um, it's not something I'm constantly going in and out of and a trick that I have guys is I will buckle it and I will put it on I will just kind of like buckle it like that and I will leave it so I find that it stays pretty secure um, I don't have to like throw it through the second loop uh, so that doesn't annoy me if it was something that I was going in and out of all the time I definitely think I would get annoyed this is a really nice little snap closure this guys the um, it is not magnetic it is actually this like like button system where you kind of snap it in. Uh, no lie, it can get annoying, but I find that with the addition of this top like snap, that you can just snap it shut without like putting those into those little screws and the bag stays securely shut. It looks a little wonky, but you know what? When you're kind of racing out of a grocery store and you just want to close your bag, it works really well and does the trick. Overall, I think this bag is just fantastic. It's such an eye-catching bag. It's so it's so fun, yet so sleek at the same time, which I think is just what makes a really grand bag. I get so many compliments just from even random strangers uh, when they see the bag. They're like, oh my God, I love your bag. So I love that. I love when people kind of like stop and just admire and this is just one of those bags where people are going to stop and do that for you. It's just, again, it's so fun. It's got the black, the white, the contrasting fun colors with the studs, and then it's got that cheetah detail on the side that just adds so much to it. And then you have the straps that are, um, you can take them and shorten them so you can carry it as a top handle tote or you can you know lengthen them like I've done and you can carry it as a backpack which is what I do most of the time. In terms of its backpack wear um, I would match it to a Fjall Robin Konkin. I would say it's even more comfortable. I think it uh, stays on my body very well. Um, it's very comfortable over hours and because the straps are not a material like that fabric material they're leather I find that they don't dig into my shoulders quite like the Fjall Robin Konkin classic bags do um and just the distribution of weight of this bag on my back is just it's perfect like I just have I've carried it for hours with a lot of things in it and I've just not had any issues with it and then I don't think I got into this I have a little Totoro plush on the top or hanging on the bag I got this at the Chicago Comic Con I love my neighbor Totoro I actually love all Studio Ghibli so I found him I thought he was so cute I thought he worked very well with the color scheme and he just has a little spot here on my bag Vogue has this really fun like what's in my bag videos of celebrities and at the end they ask a question what does your bag say about you and I find that I want to answer that question what does my bag say about me I would say that the contents of my bag show organized chaos which is kind of like my life um, I try and do my best to kind of have a system but simultaneously Things are still all over the place, no matter what I do, and my bag is a total reflection of how I am in real life. That is the video. Um, I know right now the world is sort of 
just up in total chaos it feels like i just want to tell you that i'm thinking of all of you i hope you all stay safe and you all remain healthy and until the next one guys